this century, a new scene has been presented to our view. For about 60 years past, in Hungary, Moravia, Silesia, and Poland, it is common, we are told, to see men who have been dead several years, or at least several months, come again, walk about, infest villages, torment men and cattle, suck the blood of their relations, throw them into disorders, and at last occasion their death. And there is no way, it seems, to get rid of these troublesome visitants. But by digging them out of their graves, impaling them, cutting off their heads, taking out their hearts, and burning their bodies, the name by which they are known is that of upiers, or vampires. My name is Jessica Locker Feldman. I am the head of special collections here at Hill Memorial Library at LSU. Special Collections has just started to really formulate a collection about vampires and vampirism. We had a lot of things in Special Collections already related to vampires because of the um, Louisiana and Lower Mississippi Valley collection, and there's a lot of ties between Louisiana and vampire fiction, so we decided to build on that. So the earliest things that we have in the collection are not vampire materials per se, but talk about mythical creatures and um, the occult and occult science. And from that, in the 18th century, in the era of the Enlightenment, things were written about these things and put sort of a veil of science on top of them. And then as we move into the 19th century, poets and authors were attracted to that writing and from there the vampire became this creature of, uh, of fiction and lore in a way that was began to be absorbed into popular culture. Well, anybody can come into Special Collections and visit us and use the collections. We are here for everybody, certainly students, faculty, and staff, but the general public are absolutely welcome to use the library as a resource. We can help you find what you're looking for.